Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of JTOR Plays Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Episode number 24. I think 24. Yeah, 24. And uh, I totally forgot what I was doing in the last episode, so we're going to do something different. I just noticed a mission over there, something about helping a doctor. So we're going to head that direction now. Wish me luck. Oh, come on, horse. You can do it. Son of a bee. Come on, go up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be my Skyrim horse. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I was freaking out for a second because I thought I'd end up killing my horse again. Still a chance for me to be able to do that, you know. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> well. See you later, horse. Good old ragdoll effect. Well, just to make sure. Really? Huh. Alright. Oh, of course, Phobos is not available. Oh, also? I'll take that. Olive wood. All right, so I'm on foot now. And now I'm not anymore. Come to me, horse. I shall kill you again. I swear it. <laughs> there, there will come a time. Oh, look, wolves. You guys are easy. Oh, God. There's a bunch of them. Oh, no. Get away from my horse. Hey. Hey. Get back here. Jerk. Uh, oh, the thieving snake's nearby? I don't care. Oh, is it that dude? Well, I'm not too worried about that. I kind of like, kind of like the Spartans, honestly. I don't know. Well, does it hurt like a bear biting you? Or a mouse? Like three mouses. No, like four. Ah, so a poppy bite sized hurt. Got it. <laughs> Hello. Will the hurt go away? I tell you what, you have to stand away. If you roar like a lion, it'll run. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Now run along home. You must be a physician. Yes, I'm Likaon. You must be a Mystheus. Are you here for treatment? Um, whoa. No, I'm not in love with this man. I don't go to physicians who speak nonsense. <laughs> Isn't there like a neutral one? Like, you're a good physician, not a loved one. All right, well, we'll just choose a loved one because it just sounds better. That depends. Will I have to roar for you too? Sometimes the best medicine <laughs> I can give my patients is a dose of hope. I take it you're not in need of care. I'm healthy as a horse. You look strong and prepared for anything. My patients need mandrake herbs. There's a part of them growing by a little stream southeast of here. Are you too busy to pick them? Too chewy. <laughs> a pack of wolves is resting near the stream. I'll pay you generously for your trouble. You know how to talk to a mystios. <laughs> Is that all you want? The mandrake herbs? For now. Bring them back to me, and I'll pack at them for my patients. Then we'll see. Yeah, I'll bring you the herbs. I'll Why bring not? You, the herbs. you said they were southeast of here? Yes. By a little stream northeast of Kira. The flowers haven't bloomed yet, but the leaves are a distinctive gray-green. Thank you. 
Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Helping a healer. Whoa. What is with all of these? Why do I have these all of a sudden? That's way out of my level range. Okay, uh... Helping a healer. I just don't remember this many, like, high-level missions. That's weird. Horse! Why are you running off on me? Away we go. I swear I probably killed these wolves already, but whatever. said the herbs would be near a little stream. That looks like it. Oh, would it be down here by where all these wolves are? Come on. I don't know. I left the exploration area. Maybe it's over here? Nope, it's not. Specifically in this area somewhere. And now I'm out of the area again. I need to get off. Oh. Ah. That's not what I need. Oh. These must be the herbs, Lika. Ah. Okay, so I need more. Okay. Is there one more? Ah. This should be enough money. Got it. Herbs. Time to go back to the physician. Get over here, horse. Well, that was harder than it really needed to be. Uh, time mission, eh? Well, we'll go over there next. Here, I found your herbs. Thank you. I'll prepare these for my patients. Could you please stay a while? I'll wait. I've crossed the herbs so they'll be easier to take. Could you please bring them to my patients? Just tell them they're for me, Likaun. I thought I brought you more herbs than this. <laughs> I needed to save a double dose for my grandmother. I'll give it to her soon. Sure. I'll just deliver the rest then. Thank you. All my patients are in and around the Hora of Delphi. One should be at the animal pens to the west. One is building a house in the northeastern corner. And uh, one works in the fields to the south. Come back here when you're done. I'm sure I can find them. Okay. Come here, horse. Come on. Well, it's a good thing they're marked for me. Because otherwise, I'd never be able to find them. Hello. Likaun sends his regards. 
The medicine he promised. Thank you. Tell me, did he look well? He didn't look sick to me. I've seen him up and walking around at all hours, mumbling to himself. He seems worried. I should bring him some sweets to cheer him up. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Yeah. Come here, horse. Sorry, kids. <laughs> You know, if you didn't want a horse running around here or galloping around here, you shouldn't have built stuff here. Likaon made this medicine for you. Thanks. See, I take care of these beasts, and Likaon takes care of me. Too bad nobody takes care of him, though. What do you mean? His parents died young. His grandmother raised him, but then she was born under a cursed star. Never mind that. He's a good boy. I'm sure he is. Okay. I feel a little unsettled about this. But whatever. These herbs are from Likaon. Oh, thank you. That physician is so thoughtful and so handsome. It's too bad he's decided not to marry. Why not? He just told me some nonsense about not wanting to burden an innocent woman with his worries. Personally, I just wish he'd been honest and said I'm not his type. Huh. I wonder why he'd say that. Yeah. I wonder why. Let's find out. <laughs> oh. These fetch quests, man. I delivered all your medicine. Seems you have a lot of people concerned for your well-being. Thanks. Um, my grandmother, Praxithea, I have to bring her the last of the medicine. Will you come along with me to her house? I think I need your help. Sure, I'll come with yes. you. I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, thank you. Please, my grandmother's house is this way. Thanks for coming with me. Uh oh. Why do you ask me that? <laughs> if someone is impious to the point of doing grave injustice to people as well as adults, do they not deserve punishment? What did Praxithea do? She spoke false prophecies for years. Those who came to her as spies received only lies. Your grandmother was an oracle? Yes, up on the hill in Delphi. She confessed to me recently that she never heard the gods and only repeated the words she was told. Told by vile people with evil intentions. Oh man. Wars have been fought over those words. She can't be left unpunished. My family was torn apart by a false prophecy. If it was one of hers, we're gonna save I these people. Yeah, victory. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. I totally missed out the conversation, though. <laughs> Something about, um... Something about the cult of Cosmos saying some stupid stuff? Probably. I know what you want to do. You'll just bring more shame on our family. I don't want to do this, Agavi. But for the sake of justice, we can't let Praxithea live. Really? We our hands anyway. Some strange men were searching the village today, looking for her. I brought them here and let her away. What kind of justice is that? You wouldn't understand. She was an impious old fool. Now we have nothing more to worry about. Who are you anyway? I'm Alexios. I've also been wronged by a false prophecy. It might have been your grandmother's. If we don't find her, we can't settle any of this. Please help me figure out where she's been taken. I'll look for clues. What did you expect me to do? Looking All for that clues. Talk about killing? A solution showed up, so I took it. That wasn't the way it was supposed to happen. She's my responsibility, not yours. 
Praxithea must have lost this bracelet in the struggle. But no ordinary thief would have left something so valuable behind. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. This looks like a contract. Deliver the package to the drop-off and don't damage it. If they mean Likaun's grandmother, chances are she's alive. Yes. Oh, here's this person here. Have you seen anything strange going on around here? Well, if bandits taking over my cousin's farm is strange, yes. What did they do? Gave her a running start. She can't go back there. They've set up camp, and they're armed and dangerous. Interesting. Where is that farm? It's not far west of here, but I wouldn't mess with those bandits. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. I'm gonna go there. Praxithea was kidnapped and brought to a farm west of here. The bandits were hired to deliver her alive. Thank you for figuring that out, Alexios. I'm no fool, Likaon. Your sister put Praxithea in great danger, and you've been asking me about killing. Do you want me to end her life? No. It has to be me. I need to kill her. If you want me to kill her, say it. You're no killer. I am. If she's done the harm you said she has, then it sounds like you need my services. She's my responsibility. I don't want her to suffer. That's why I asked you for Mandrake. It's a painkiller. But for now, will you go to the farm to stop those bandits? I don't think I can take them all on myself. All for your grandmother. Let's go find Praxithea. Thanks, Alexios. You said the farm was to the west. I'll meet you there. Gotta get that quest because I want to do it. Uh, characters. There we go. Okay, and focus near the center of the sacred lands of Apollo. Ah, kind of like right, right, right here in the farmhouse. Okay. So we'll just head out in this direction. Is there a farmhouse over here? You. Ah. There they are. All right, sweet. Maybe I will give um that boar another chance, eh? Since I'm level fifteen. All right, let's uh let's sneak. Let's hide out like right in here, and let's see if I can find any more bad guys. Uh, of course. Oh, damn, they killed a horse? Jerks! Well, I've already been to this farmhouse. I guess I gotta kill these guys again. This won't be that hard. You don't see nothing. Yes, come over here, buddy. Dead. 
<laughs> oh man, this is too easy. Hey guys. I thought you were facing the other direction, sorry. <laughs> Come at me, brah. Ow. Ow. <laughs> well, you're dead now, buddy. Now I'm gonna loot stuff. Well, there's really nothing to loot. Oh. No, never mind, there is. Ooh. Only a normal arrow, eh? What did I miss? Oh, this. Another normal arrow. Oh, hello. You're free. Yes, I did. Oop. Where is that other item? Oh. Got it. Oh, so that's what this empty one was for. You guys remember that, right? You're free. I will lend you, my child. We must get away from here. Yeah, I know. More bandits be coming? Please, let's get out of here. Well, move quicker. Saving me, dear child. Don't thank me, voice of Apollo. Or were those someone else's words you spoke? So you've met my grandson. You're right. I lied to everyone. I am so sorry. The gods should have killed me by now. Instead, they made me live with my remorse. Why did you give false prophecies? Why did you spread lies? People trusted you. You were supposed to bring them the word of Apollo. I didn't plan to, not when I was chosen to be the oracle of Apollo. But I met people there who told me I must speak the words they asked, or else my family would suffer for my disobedience. Family? Do you remember telling a Spartan family that their younger child must die? A grieving mother with eyes like mine. I am so sorry for what you have lost. Who kidnapped you? Who wanted you kidnapped? These brutes didn't come up with the idea themselves. Please, don't ask me that. <coughs> the ones who want to punish me now, the ones who told me what to say, they would bury you alive if I told you about them. The ones with masks and dark cloaks? The cult of Cosmos? Do not speak their name. That's all I need to hear. Grandmother. Did she tell you? Is she the oracle who brought ruin on your family? I'm sorry for what I've done. I accept my punishment. But please, don't let my grandson kill me. Likaon's a good man, a healer. This would break him. No, it is my responsibility. I must be the one to end her. Violence won't solve anything. I've killed enough people to know that violence has no end. Better to move on and make the best of the lives the gods have given you. Move on. But you said Praxithea ruined your family. She can do no more harm. Killing her for revenge won't change what happened. Besides, didn't you tell me something about hope? Thank you for your mercy. I promise I will do good with what's left of my days. You're right, Alexios. I might not be able to forgive my grandmother, not right away. But she can go on with her life, and I with mine. I think you've made the right decision, Nikaon. Ah, oh, how do you do this? 
decide who lives and who dies. How do you do it, Likaon? All those lives depending on you, needing your healing and kindness. I... I think I need you, Alexios. Not to kill anybody or find anything. Just to stay with me. I should go now. I'm no healer, but I think you've been through a lot, Likaon. <laughs> you don't need a mystic in your life. Go back home and be the physician you were meant to be. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Man, that was a lot of experience for that, too. Nice. Okay, so we are going to go and upgrade some crap. Because I'm pretty sure I still have level 13 stuff. Um. Where's the closest? I guess, I guess I'll go here. Whoop. Fast traveling! And then we'll go to the, uh... The blacksmith, upgrade all of my equipment, and then we're gonna fight the boar. Or at least attempt to. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Hello, sir. Welcome. First, I would like to sell all my trade goods. Next, I would like to sell this. Nice. Excuse me. Did I upgrade some already? No. Let's go to upgrade. Here we are. I like that. Nice. Well, I'm gonna keep this this uh, spear. That that looks awesome. Um, let's upgrade this. Cool. This. I don't have enough. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, son of a bee. At least I got enough for these. Wait, why am I... I'd rather do one of these, actually. I like this. Ah, oh, damn it, I can't upgrade it. Okay, well, uh, what if I go into my options here, my inventory. Let's go to this. 139 armor. Well, geez, it's rare, but the epic stuff would get less armor? If I upgraded them, is that correct? Hey. Let's look. Uh, yeah, it appears so. So. I guess that means I am just going to dismantle these. Why not? All right. We're gonna just... We can't dismantle that. Uh, but we can... Not dismantle any of that. <laughs> can't dismantle that. Um, arcane sword. We'll dismantle that. Nope, can't dismantle it. 
I can dismantle this, though. Okay. Well, I got plenty of helmets to get rid of. Should I do this one? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Ah, yes. Look at all these. I don't need these. I already had Missios Van Braces. I don't need that either. We have only the Can I upgrade that beast now? Should be nice if I could. Well, you know what that means. Until next time. I gotta go and get some... Some leather real quick. Maybe I can find a bunch of Ibex somewhere around here. Or maybe a bunch of wolves? That'd be cool too. Maybe. No wildlife at all. The game knows that I'm trying to upgrade. Sneaky, sneaky. Come on. Maybe I just follow this path. Come on. No. Maybe. Hello. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to use bird. That place is interesting. Actually. I was some kind of woodland creature, where would I be? Those aren't woodland creatures. Man, I can never find what I want. And you know what that means. I'm going to see you in the next episode. So until then, have a good day, and I'll see you soon.